In this video, I'm going to address a commonly asked question. How do you tell an alligator from a crocodile? Some of you are probably thinking, oh wait, that's easy. You just look at the shape of their snouts. But is snout shape really a reliable way to tell an alligator from a crocodile? Let's find out. Conventional wisdom is that alligators have a broad, U-shaped snout, whereas crocodiles have a narrower, V-shaped snout. This handy tip comes out of the US, which has two native crocodilians, the broad-snouted American alligator and the narrower-snouted American crocodile. So we know this works on these two American species. But the big question is whether or not we can apply this rule of thumb globally, outside the US. Can all alligators and all crocodiles anywhere in the world be distinguished by snout shape alone? To test this, I'm going to make a simple chart with alligators on the left and crocodiles on the right, and then see how some other members of each family fit into this scheme. We'll put our American alligator and American crocodile on here as our default representatives of each group, and then compare them with other members of the alligator and crocodile families to see if they follow this simple rule as well. Essentially, what we're looking for is exceptions to this rule. We'll start with alligators. There's another species of alligator in China, and it, too, like the American alligator, has a broad snout. However, there are members of the alligator family in Latin America, called caimans, and they come in a variety of snout shapes. At one extreme, there are caimans with very broad snouts, like the appropriately named broad-snouted caiman. But at the other extreme, it turns out that there are caimans with quite narrow V-shaped snouts, like the smooth-fronted caiman, and this Brazilian spectacled caiman. I'm going to add the spectacled caiman to my chart right here next to the American alligator. So already you can see we have a problem with our simple rule of thumb, as clearly this caiman doesn't fit into the broad-snouted alligator paradigm. But suppose you don't think it's fair that I included caimans into our alligator-crocodile comparison. Even though they're technically alligators, people don't normally call them alligators. So let's look at the crocodile side. Do all crocodiles have wedge-shaped snouts, or do some of them have broad snouts? At one extreme, there are a few species of crocodile which have long, narrow snouts, which could never be mistaken for an alligator. There are also quite a few with more typical V-shaped snouts, not dissimilar to that of the American crocodile, like this young African Nile crocodile. But it turns out that the other extreme, there are also crocodiles with quite broad snouts, like this Indian mugger crocodile. The crocodiles with the shortest, broadest snouts are the African dwarf crocodiles. Let's pop one of these onto our rule of thumb chart and see how it looks. So now we not only have a narrow snouted member of the alligator family, which looks as though it should be on the crocodile side, but we also have a broad snouted crocodile that looks as though it should be on the alligator side. Just to make matters even more confusing, the adult males of a number of crocodile species develop massive heads, so even if they start off with quite narrow snouts, the skull thickens and widens as the crocodile grows, so they often end up with quite broad snouts when they hit full size. This means they may start out with a narrow crocodile-shaped snout and end up with a broad alligator-shaped snout. So is snout shape a reliable way to tell alligators from crocodiles? I don't think so. So how do you tell an alligator from a crocodile? The quickest and best way is to look at the teeth. Let's go back to our American alligator and American crocodile and turn them sideways so we can see the teeth. Alligators, like humans, have an overbite, so when their mouth is closed, only the teeth on the upper jaw are visible. In crocodiles, on the other hand, the teeth of the upper and lower jaws interlock, so teeth from both the upper and lower jaws are visible when the mouth is closed. This gives alligators a tidier looking jawline, whereas crocodiles tend to have a more snaggletooth appearance. Let's have a look at a couple of real-world examples rather than these illustrations. Here's our American alligator again, with its smooth jawline and upper teeth showing. And here's a Cuban crocodile with both its upper and lower teeth showing. But what happens if you encounter a cheeky animal that just refuses to close its mouth? Because they can stay like this for hours. Or maybe it has wonky splayed teeth. Or maybe it has no teeth at all. In all these situations, you wouldn't be able to tell whether the teeth were interlocked or it had an overbite. That's when you take a photograph and then zoom in for a closer look at its skin. And why would you do that? 
to look for integumentary sense organs, or ISOs. Integumentary sense organs are pretty cool little pressure sensors that are worth a Google search if you're keen, but for now all you need to know is what they look like. These are the tiny pimple-like bumps you see all over the jaws of alligators and crocodiles. Here they are on an alligator. And here's a close-up of the mouth of the crocodile, showing the same thing. Both alligators and crocodiles have them all over their heads, except for the very top. Where the two of them differ is that in alligators these are found only on the head, whereas in crocodiles these are found all over the body and limbs. So if we go back to our images of the typical alligator and typical crocodile, then zoom in on the neck scales, we can see that the alligator scales lack ISOs. Whereas if we zoom in on the neck scales of the crocodile, they are quite visible. Admittedly, this isn't nearly as good as looking at the teeth, as it requires you get pretty close in. But it's an excellent clue if you're trying to identify an animal from a photograph or a skin. So a quick rehash of how to tell an alligator from a crocodile. First, look at the teeth. The alligator has an overbite, so only the upper teeth show when the mouth is closed. The crocodile has interlocking teeth, so both upper and lower teeth are visible. If that fails, look at the body scales for ISOs. Alligator body scales do not have ISOs, they are only on the head. Crocodile body scales do have ISOs. These aren't the only differences between alligators and crocodiles, of course, but are the easiest things to look for. So the next time you see a crocodilian, you'll now be able to tell if it's an alligator or a crocodile. A bit of advice though, if it's coming towards you, don't hang around to check its teeth or its scale. What the? <laughs>